Hello everyone, today we're taking a look at the brand new uh, Microsoft 365 Link Cloud OS. This has been leaked, it's uh, currently in development and a beta has been leaked online and we're going to take a look at it. So first of all the installer is very similar to Windows 11, it says that it's Windows 11, I agree, and I'm going to say I don't have a product key. And we can see that this is a confidential Microsoft pre-release software and it is a it says Windows client and server pre-release and placeholder for the EULA so that's good I don't have to accept a EULA because it doesn't have one and we're going to go ahead and install Windows 11 now this installer like I said is exactly the same as any other I would imagine this is probably just going to be the sort of thing you would do through either uh, SCCM or Pixie Boot. you would deploy this on your uh, existing devices if they were CloudLink ready or this would come pre-installed on the CloudLink OS devices. So you can see that we have install Windows WNC it could mean Windows Next Cloud but not really sure it doesn't really say anything about it and it says I can't open the link I guess I guess this would work if you're doing this from within Windows but we're not so that's fine and we will install it and this is a very light operating system, so I don't expect it should take very long to install. Um, but we will go ahead and do that, and we'll be back when it's installed. Alright, so we have this very odd looking uh, wallpaper. And anyway, it says, uh, let's connect you to a network. You'll need an internet connection to continue setting up your device. And it says it couldn't find any Wi-Fi networks, which is interesting because... I do have this thing plugged into Ethernet, but I guess maybe CloudLink doesn't have Ethernet. Maybe these are Wi-Fi only devices. So what we can try and do anyway is uh, release the input here and we can try and connect this thing to my... Uh, can we add a network adapter now? Yeah. So even when bridging the connection, we can't seem to get on. It says you'll need an internet connection to continue setting up your device, but it doesn't seem that we have any network connections uh, or any network adapters that can actually work. Let me see if I can do something about that. So something that I thought was kind of interesting here is if you go into the plug and play utility and command prompt, um, you can do something called PNP uh, enum, which enumerates, so it gets all of the hardware on the device. And we can see right down the bottom that we do have an Ethernet controller, but it says that there's a problem and it failed the installation. So, I mean, I'm going to continue trying to like monkey with this thing and see if it works. Uh, it's got the B drive, yes. Administrator, okay. So another thing I found was there's a Windows 365 suite of something in the program files folder and I was able to open that up and it brings up this no internet. It's a different dialogue which is fascinating but I will keep digging. I'm determined to try and get this to work. Alright, so the next thing I've done is gone and found a USB Wi-Fi adapter. Just to see if I can pass it through to the VM. Uh, yeah, we want to connect it to the virtual machine. So let's see if we can... There was a command that I just ran before, and it was the enumeration of devices. So I'll run that again. Alright, so I am actually back now and uh, we have got in we're using Hyper-V as VMware just did not want to work I tried the USB adapter I tried everything and I also tried to copy some files over from a Windows 11 uh, normal install I tried copying over Explorer and that sort of thing just to see if we can get it to open but it was complaining about a lot of missing DLLs so here we be here we are back and uh, let's try and log in
<sighs> okay, so let's add your Microsoft account and error has occurred. Please try again. What are our other options here? Insert your security key into the USB port. Okay. So this could be an issue to do with um, the fact that the license that I have on this account is not actually, doesn't include using the service on this thing. I'm not 100% sure, but what I'll try and do is add some extra things to the account and uh, yeah, we will go from there. All right, well, I have tried absolutely everything. I've given this account uh, every license that I have access to. I've given it a three, I've given it Defender Endpoint, I have given it, uh, I've given it uh, Windows 10 and 11. I have added all of the individual apps that are available to me through my Microsoft subscriptions. I can't make this account work. I actually, have a theory on this and it's probably that the only Microsoft accounts that can use this service or log into these devices are test accounts. I don't think public or enterprise Microsoft accounts actually do work with this OS and the big clue is down in the bottom left corner it says device unlocked. Now device unlocked probably just means that it's allowed to sign in. Device unlocked probably means that the drivers have been loaded or at least a small set of them. Um, whatever program this is trying to run will run but I think the actual sign in servers if they see a command coming from this device will not let you log in. I will continue to try and monkey around with this thing you will see another video if I can get it to work but that's going to be about it for now I really do recommend Neptune's video down below uh, I will put the video below I really recommend you check it out he goes a little bit deeper into what's on the actual C drive and his sort of process as to how he got this working he's also got instructions if you want to try this for yourself but I will hopefully be back with more content about this soon but that is it for now. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next one. And I'll leave you with a book, a clipboard and a pie chart icon.